Hey guys, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you probably saw my recent unboxing and uh, review of this Aklot Steel Tongue Drum. Now keep in mind that that video, um, from the time that I unboxed it to the time that it was posted online was a matter of hours, so it was really initial impressions. Now I've had a little bit of time to spend with it and I wanted to do a follow-up. Um, but if you haven't watched that video, you might wanna go back and watch that one first. Um, because I'm gonna build upon some of the things I said there. Now, one thing I wanted to mention real quick, a couple people had posted comments and asked about, you know, how does it compare to the Vibe Drum? Well, they are both steel tongue drums, but they are a little different. Um, I think they have a little different customer base. The Vibe Drum is more like a boutique drum. And so for people that are like, hey, you know, I wanna be able to call up and talk to the person that tuned my drum, or I want a specific color or a specific scale, that's where Vibe Drums is really gonna appeal to them. Whereas the Aklat is more of a mass produced um, drum and only comes in one scale and one finish and stuff. But because of that, you get a whole lot of drum for the price. So this is really, you know, it's got kind of a different consumer, I think. But because there is some interest in that, I'm going to do a future video on that. So keep your eyes peeled for it. I will do a video where I compare the two. But for today, we're just going to talk a little more about this drum right here. Okay, guys, so a couple quick follow-up items from the previous review. First and foremost, I had mentioned that it has these like um, kind of gold stickers on all the tongues and I and it had a film, like a clear film over it, kind of like a piece of tape. And I had tried to take one of those off during the video and the sticker started to come off with it. I believe it was uh, this one over here that I had tried to take off. Well, it's funny, after that I tried and all the rest of them just came right off. That was the only one that gave me trouble and that happened to be the one that I tried during the video. So those little pieces of clear um, film do come off and it looks a little cleaner once you take those off. Uh, so, and they do give you an extra set of stickers if any of them come off, you know, I'm assuming that's what those are for. So I did get those off and it, they actually came off quite easily. Um, so that was one thing. And then also I had mentioned during the review that I wasn't sure how it was tuned. I had mentioned that um, Aklot says that this is a, a key of C, the drums in the key of C, but they didn't say specifically anything more than that. So it is a C major scale, which is one of the more popular scales. And I kind of uh, moved forward towards the camera here to see if I can uh, show you how this works. So this tongue right here has the one on it. That is the root, that's the C note right there. And then this one over here is the C an octave higher that has the one with the dot over it. Okay, so the way that this would go is if you were going up that scale across the octave, what you would do here is you would start on the one, go to the two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then your one again of your octave. So it literally just walks straight up the scale if you go down um, those tongues there. So this is gonna be C, D, E, F, G, and so on. All right, now you're gonna be saying, hey, why didn't you get the three in the middle? Okay, so if we go down the scale, starting with that octave, let me show you how that works. So if we go down the scale, we go, uh, octave or eighth or root, whatever you want to call it. So we go octave, seventh, sixth, fifth, fourth, third, second, root, seventh, sixth, fifth, and the fifth is the lowest note. So hopefully that makes sense. And if you look here, if you look real closely, that seventh and sixth and fifth have a dot below them to indicate that they are lower than the root, whereas the one over here has a dot above, oops, I'm sorry, over here, has a dot above it to show that it's above the root. So that's actually kind of a clever little thing that they did to help you figure out the scale. So during the review, I had also brought up that it comes with this book here, and I had opened it, and some of these songs in here, Rice Shop, and, uh, or something called Little Donkey or something. There you go, Little Donkey. I, I don't recognize a lot of these songs. So I was like, I don't know if these are songs that I would know. But as I did take a deeper look at the book here, the very first song in the book is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And what it has there, hopefully you can see this, is it's just got the number of the tongue that you hit to play the song. So um, let's try to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and see if I can do it.
So as you can see, I was able to uh, successfully play the song, and if you noticed, I was playing it on a hard surface, and I didn't have a cushion or anything, and that's because of these unique feet that are on the back, and I really like that feature. It does enable you to be able to play this drum on a flat surface. Now that said, due to the shape of the drum, it is a little awkward to play on your lap. Um, it tends to want to tip and slide around because of that, because it's so curved. Now, if you look back on the, in the initial review video, when I was sitting outside playing the drum, you notice I kept shifting my legs around to get a comfortable position um, because it doesn't really want to sit in your lap all that well. But one solution to that is uh, this cushion. I actually use this for my vibe drums as well. And um, if you just set that on your lap, I'm gonna scoot back so you can see better. But if you just set that cushion on your lap and then you set the, the drum on the cushion, hopefully you guys can see that, you get this little like drum sitting on the cushion thing and it's a lot easier to play. So that does help a lot with the stability. So um, that's a little extra thing that, that um, if you're looking at playing this you know, on your lap, not on a hard surface, you might wanna invest in one of these. I think these are about 16 bucks on Amazon or something like that. So there you go. There's a real quick follow-up on this Aklot steel tongue drum and I'll go ahead and play us out. <laughs> 